Hey guys, how you doing today? So today brings our new skill, Invention Out. And let me tell you, it has been crazy. Uh, the GE prices are like unstable. Everything is going up. Everybody's buying everything out of the GE. And nobody knows what really is going on with this skill. A lot of people feel that the skill is kind of empty. Um, I, last time I checked, we had... Uh, players up in the 80s and I don't even remember their names but um, kudos to you guys I mean that's really great we're still kinda sitting around trying to figure out what we're doing here uh, a lot of people have been camping out at the uh, Falador White Knight Castle at the Armory now a lot of people say that is the cheapest route to go but uh, you have to have the wanted quest completed and to have access to the armory there are d different levels that you have to have killed black knights in order to uh, basically unlock each type of weapon throughout there and I think the max you have to have is 1300 uh, black knights killed and that will give you like access to everything uh, I currently am in the Warriors Guild, which is in Berthrop, and I've been trading this guy for all the adamants and the mithrils. Uh, you <laughs> Steel's kind of iffy in here, uh, but still, I mean, it's not so bad. I mean, like, two-hander, 2,600. I mean, that's cool. And, of course, you get your blacks, and you have adamants in here. Um... But they, they have maces, they have the daggers, the two-hand swords, uh, what else, battle axes, stuff that you could actually, you know, use. Um, I mean, each black one you get, you uh, basically do get some of the, oh, what is it, the knight, yeah, knight components. I uh, anything that's black or the white uh, knight basically you'll get the knight components out of that um, and of course you know if if you guys are just now getting on the game and you know just getting into the skill it's trust me you you want to take the introduction very slowly you want to basically understand what you're doing because uh, a lot of people they rush right through it and then now they're like looking all over YouTube how do I do this how do I do that you know and what are the best things that I can do to basically level fast um, well at the bottom here in your uh, backpack uh, right here by your bonds thing there is a little inventory pouch uh, invention pouch <laughs> sorry and it will display like how many inspirations you have and of course uh, there's some great people out there that have great videos about the new skill and can break it down for you so um, go check those out and basically you'll click on the light bulb there and it'll tell you everything that you broke down what materials you have uh, and your uncommon materials and rare materials that you still have to like find out but like uh, right here, the nightly components. Uh, I've got a lot of that. I've got 18,000 uh, junk and everything. There's a gadget that you can make to bring that down to. I'm still learning all this. Uh, I've got to level 33, so yeah, it's slowly going. Um, I know that when certain blades and whatnot. Uh, throwing, well, let's see, pop this back up again. Uh, the components that you really are sought out after is like the enhancing components and the strong components. The strong components are really used a lot, and the sources are melee armor, shields, hatchets, two hand swords, war hammers, mauls, and shield bow bows. Now, the shield bows, everybody's been doing the uh, maple shield bow and the magic shield bow um, but right now with prices hopefully you guys have had everything like stocked up for a while because you're gonna be paying max out of the GE if there's 
even anything in there. So this is a great opportunity for all those people who need or want to make money to get out there, start scaling, and start putting it into the GE because you will be getting paid big time. So, um, yeah, with that said, uh, there's a lot of just, a lot of these little trinkets and everything in here. Uh, the feather thing right here, it's a light component. And it's pretty cool because, like, you get it from gems and daggers and you can put it to in your, I guess, your weapon or your armor after you've, you know, did the argument and everything and put it in and it acts like a light source. It is really cool. So, um, yeah. <laughs> also, you're going to need some blade parts, which the blades that you want to, like, dismember, like, has the stabbing and the slashing and throwing weapons, so, you know, battle axes, daggers, you know, stuff like that, halberds, um, oh, let's see, let's see if I got anything in here, I mean, it tells you, like, you're stabbing, but you don't want to do bronze, and you don't want to do s iron or steel, because, I mean, like I said, steel's iffy, but iron and bronze are just a waste, it's just going to be nothing but junk, maybe a random part here or there. Now, uh, there's other things, uh, like clear parts, uh, you want to do the light orbs. Some people had said something about the crystal uh, flasks that you get up in Prividaris and um, Rune Sword for base parts. Royal Dehyde, I noticed, for simple parts. Um, I was just running a bunch of stuff down, really, like, and experience-wise and stuff. Um, I know that, oh, let's see, Eddy Chain Bodies are 12 experience. Um, I know in the White Knight Castle, everything that is in there is like 7.5 experience, too. Um, let's see. Ring of Slayer, I think I got it, 22 experience. Willow Stock was 11.7. Room Plate Body, 15. Magic Stock right now was 28.2. Not sure if they are going to patch that or not or fix it, but I would say I'd take advantage of it now before they do anything. Some people have been making comments about how they're going to roll back uh, the experiences, and I don't really know. Some people claim a mod said that they confirmed it. I don't I didn't see anything. Um, let's see. Rune Long was 15. These are like all experience that I got. Um, also, like right now with the GE being unstable and everything kind of chaotic, because it's going to be this way for the, like the next two, three weeks, uh, that I would go to all the local shops and basically like Falador and like Birthrup and you know, wherever you can buy material from, Varrock, Sword Shop, uh, even the other places there in Varrock, just, I mean, and it's going to be your cheaper route. I mean, I would, I think I've gone through about maybe 40, 50 mil today on this, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> so, um, I know there's not really much that I can get into on this. Uh, I can see if we can teleport over to Falador. I'll show you how crazy it is. A lot of people have really been getting into the whole White Knight thing. Yeah, I got a Dragon Defender down for 18-something, too, as well. So... Take it down through here. Doo, 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 doo. Sorry for the lag. I this whole recording thing is just it slows everything down a bit. I've got to upgrade so much on this computer so I can be up and running like efficiently. <laughs> Other than that, it runs pretty smooth when I'm not recording. It's all right. I mean, it does good for now go in here. I'm gonna go up to the top floor. And see, everyone is in here. Everybody's just sitting here and just like going after 
everything. You'll be trading uh, Sir Vivian, Vivian, <laughs> Vivian, <laughs> and see the people will teleport out while they're in there because they don't want to open the door and cause him to move. So, um, yeah, that's that's basically where you'll go if you want to have like cheap, cheap ways of getting around this uh, while everything's going crazy. So if you do end up going here and doing the white knight thing, just teleport on the inside of the door and not on the outside and don't open the door because people will get quite upset. Or if you move, it, it, they they can like position Sir Vivian like right where they want him at. So, alright, let's go up to, let's see, I'm gonna go up to the invention area which is Northeast of the Lodestone in Falador. Go right in here. Bloop. Alright, so while you're in here, um, you'll talk to the dwarf that's in here and he'll basically walk you down everything and, um, yeah, Doc. He'll, like, take you through the whole intro of it, but like I said, you'll need to take your time and read everything. Don't just go fast through it, just ease in. Now, one part of this table, you have this side, which is the inventor's workbench, and then you have this side of it. You click one side of it, and it's going to bring up your inventions. Now, over time periods, uh, as you level, you'll basically unlock the whole, you know, invention part where you can find things and basically invent them. Um, I do happen to have some pictures, I believe. I'm not sure if I can pull them up or not, but anyways, um, yeah, when you go through it, you basically, you'll bust a few times. It'll, like, pop a light bulb up and it'll crack and bust until you get the right components. Now once you get the right components, I'll take you to another little movie through to the next interface and then you gotta put all the symbols at the bottom are, you know, like just take everything, pull it down into the bottom there. <laughs> and what you're gonna do is that you will be trying to find the, um, oh what is it? Let me see if I can bring this up. Here we go. Okay. So this is a little picture I took earlier. And, yes, this is what you want. You want to hit the perfect part right here. This is what you want, it's right there. And when you're going through, the put all your little components you had here and you're going to just have them right here. But this is what you want. You want to have the perfect part there. So, and then once you get that done, you can come over here and if you've done a bunch of breaking down material and everything else, you'll end up with all this stuff. Um, and it'll tell you, you know, your requirements here and then your materials here. And it'll tell you how much experience is. Uh, tell you right here how many you can convert, make, and everything else, so, um, but yeah, I mean, for a more in-depth of this, there's some really great YouTubers out there that have videos for this. Um, you also have your bank down here, too, so, pretty much it's all there is for it, so, um, <laughs> no idea what he just did. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think so far of this skill. I pretty much think it's kind of slow, but there's still more coming out, and we're still learning a whole lot about what is what, and what we're going to get, what experience in, and, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Remember, like and comment, subscribe if you want see some more videos. Um, on that, happy gaming. Bye.